I'm here at Springley, a place I like very much, especially for their hot chocolate. I come here with friends, and this is actually a good place to discuss stocks, because friends are a good source. This time, I got a tip not from a friend, I got a tip from a subscriber. Somebody that watched my video last week and said, wait a minute, Herman, you bought Gold Fields, the gold company in South Africa. I bought Centera. You know, it has much better Obermott ranks. Now tell me, why didn't you buy Centera with better Obermott ranks? Well, first of all, it's really good to listen to friends when you buy stocks because they have no financial interest in your own stock buying. And second, Obermott ranks are very good at measuring everything that is in the balance sheet. So the balance sheet numbers are reflected in the Obermott ranks. But the problem with gold mines is the gold is not really in the balance sheet. It's actually still buried in the ground. So the ranks may or may not show into the right direction, but you may want to do additional analysis. And one way of doing that, you know, I explain you right now. You can research how much gold reserves a certain gold company has. And in the case of Centera, it's 16.3 million ounces. Now you cannot multiply this with the gold price because that gold is still in the ground. It has to be excavated. And it depends very much how much it costs to excavate this gold to find out how much it is worth. What I did for Centera is the following. I looked at how much gold they excavated last year, and it's 785,000 ounces. And then I looked how much profit they made with these 785,000 ounces of gold, and it was 250 million. Now here we have something. We know that 16.3 million ounces are buried down in the ground, and 785,000 ounces just made 250 million of profit. So 16.3 million is 20 times about, roughly 20 times 785,000, which means they can do this profit of 250 million 20 more times. In other words, the gold in the ground could be worth as much as 20 times 250 million, which is about 10 billion. So 10 billion is the amount of gold valued at the way that Centera can excavate it from the ground. And the market capitalization of that company is only 5 billion, which means when you buy a share of Centera, you buy something that costs 5 billion for the whole, where actually the gold reserves are worth 10 billions. billion. <laughs> and this is actually a good reserve. You know, you have 50% reserve, you know, there's a safety margin of 5 billion, of 50% of the entire company. In other words, the Obermott ranks that are much better for Centera than they were for Goldfields are actually justified, which for me was enough research. I decided to buy Centera too. Thank you, dear subscriber, to give me the hint. That was my decision and I wish you good luck with your decision.